<clears throat> so these REO real estate agents, also known as bank owned real estate agents, uh, they have the listing for these properties that are going up to uh, auction. So obviously if you buy it, uh, you don't have to pay them anything for the purchase because the bank, the REO is paying their commission. But do you compensate these agents in any additional way other than when you make a purchase, the bank pays them? We do at times, like if we know they're going to be doing above and beyond and they're not going to get the listing, we will definitely pay them. We'll say, what do you want for this or what do you want for that service? They usually are very, very fair with the prices and we're glad to do it. We just Venmo them most of the time. Um, there's, I, I've never really run into any issues with that. Most of the time, they're really happy to just hand the listing for you. I even have thought of them manage my rehabs for me because they know the contractors. They kind of manage, oversee, take pictures. They're happy to go do that. They see the progress and they want it listed so that they can get the commission when all said and done. Awesome. And how do you find these REO agents? I suppose one way you can find them is, well, your VAs are looking at auctions coming up. They go research the property and right there, they see who's got the, um, the real estate listing on it, right? Absolutely. And you get a lot of these agents who will have five, 10, 15, 20 different properties. And they'll, they'll cover a huge geographical region, which, is crazy. I mean, they're running around all the time. Nobody works harder than an REO agent. I, that I can tell you, and, and gets paid less. Those guys and gals, they work their butts off and they are good. Their numbers are so spot on. For example, like on a property we had in Ohio a few years back, talking to the agent, what do you think the value of this property is as is? And she's like, I'd be somewhere between 17 and 20. Sure enough, we, we picked it up for like $7,500. We sold that for seventeen five. She was just right on the money with it. Uh, and that, happens time and time and time again. The only time if you're in with a newer agent, that's where you want to be careful. If it is a newer real estate agent, they're not going to be as experienced. You're going to want to try to lean on a secondary agent. Hopefully somebody that's in one of these towns that has their own brokerage that's been there for 10, 20 years and really knows the market well. Those have been our best sources far and away. The people that are in the small mom and pa shops, they just know the market. They know everybody in town. They usually know who lived in that property, especially if it's a smaller town like you live in, Jay. Um, they know people, right? And it's um, they've been our greatest source all over every market that we've ever been in. Mm -hmm.